In the aftermath of the events of 6 January 2021, and as Joe Biden's inauguration as President of the United States approaches, and as attention focuses increasingly on Donald Trump's trial or prospective trial by the Senate, the American people, those of them at least who take an interest in such things, would treat it to a bizarre spectacle on, in, in the form of a podcast by Hillary Clinton and uh, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi on Clinton's podcast, You and Me Both. I say bizarre because it shows the extraordinary detachment from reality um, that some people in the Democratic Party have now achieved. Um, briefly, it turns out, if you believe Nancy Pelosi and Hillary Clinton, that the person who was ultimately responsible for the riot in Capitol Hill on 6 January 2021 was not Donald Trump or Republicans or the mayor of Washington who didn't provide for uh, proper security or the sergeants at arms or the police or the uh, stewards of the protest who didn't control it properly or any one of many people. It was none other than Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia. I say this because we have from Hillary Clinton utterly bizarre comments like this. I hope historically we will find out who Trump is beholden to. Who pulls his strings? I would love to see his phone records to see whether he was talking to Putin the day that the insurgents invaded our capital. And then she goes on to ask Pelosi, do you think that we need a 9-11 type commission to investigate and report everything that they can pull together and explain what happened? Now, Nancy Pelosi has recently claimed that she did not, in fact, agree to Hillary Clinton's suggestion of, a, of an, another 9-11 sort of commission. But in fact, the, po the, the actual podcast shows that she did. In answer to Hillary Clinton's question, um, do you think we need a 9-11 type commission? Pelosi resp responds, I do. <laughs> and um, then she went on to say, and this is what be begins to get uh, really bizarre comments like this. To your point of who was he beholden to, as I said to him in, uh, um, as I said to him in that picture with my blue suit, as I was leaving, She's referring to a meeting she had with Trump in the White House in October 2019. As I was leaving, what I was saying to him, as I was pointing rudely at him, with you, Mr. President, all roads lead to Putin. I don't know what Putin has on him politically, financially or, or personally, but what happened last week, Pelosi, of course, is referring to the uh, um, events at the Capitol, was a gift to Putin because Putin wants to undermine democracy in our country and throughout the world. And these people, un unbeknownst to them, they are Putin puppets. They were doing Putin's business when they did that at the incitement of an insurrection by the President of the United States. So yes, we should have a 9-11 commission. Well, here we go again. Vladimir Putin is the person to blame. Not just Putin, but of course Trump. And Trump, as it turns out, at least in Hillary Clinton's imagination and in Nancy Pelosi's imagination, is and remains Putin's agent. He's puppet. All roads, as Nancy Pelosi repeatedly says, lead back to Putin. Putin is the mastermind, the blowfelt, the diabolical schemer behind it all. He aims to undermine US democracy, 
and he achieved it and Donald Trump was his enabler. Well, I have to say, I find all this utterly bizarre, even even uh, ludicrous st stuff. We've had a massive investigation of Donald Trump, first by the FBI, then by special counsel, which lasted for years and which was unable to find any connections between Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin or between Donald Trump's campaign and Russia whatsoever. We've had investigations by the House, uh, House committees and by Senate committees. We've had Adam Schiff doing his business in the, in the, in the House as chairman of the House Intelligence Board committee, burrowing around, looking wherever he can to find anything he can to fix against Donald Trump, to implicate Donald Trump with the Russians. And he has come up with absolutely nothing. But to all appearances, and apparently, Hillary Clinton and Nancy Pelosi still give credence to this bizarre fantasy. Now, of course, one has to allow for the possibility, at least in Nancy Pelosi's case, that she was just playing along with Hillary Clinton and that she doesn't believe everything that she says. But the very fact that she is talking in this bizarre way and agrees to go on to a podcast with Hillary Clinton in which she gives force to this outrageous and completely discredited and ridiculous story uh, says everything one needs to know about her. Either she is as detached from reality as Hillary Clinton is, or by playing along, she is being every bit as demagogic and as cynical and as reckless with American democracy as she claims Donald Trump has been. I am sure that most people in the United States listening to all this paranoid stuff are going to conclude that enough is enough and that this whole business of Russiagate should as soon as possible be put finally to sleep. It is deeply disturbing that leaders of the Democratic Party still don't seem to have got that point and still seem to be persisting with it. Thank you very much for joining me on this programme. I look forward to seeing you or to having you on my next programme. Please also uh, look up our main channel at the Duran and also my colleague Alex Christoforo's channel, um, which you will also you will find links to all these channels beneath this video. Please also join us on BitChute, uh, Odyssey, uh, library, Rumble, and our various other platforms. Please also support us through Patreon, Subscribestar, and PayPal. And last but not least, please come to our shop, buy the great things you will find there, our famous Dur Duran mugs, our amazing sweatshirts and t-shirts, our hats, like this one, and our hoodies. And I look forward to seeing you in my next broadcast. Thank you very much.